the first few days of the Christmas shopping season behind us, charities across the U.S. are awaiting Giving Tuesday. It's a day where people are encouraged to donate to their favorite nonprofit organizations. And as our Kendria LaFleur reports, two local groups are hoping to get some help from the community. Her story, all new tonight at 6. Faith House is a domestic violence crisis shelter. We help uh, those fleeing from domestic violence, men, women, and children. We have a uh, shelter that houses uh, 10 different families. Faith House hoping people will donate to them this Giving Tuesday. They will use any donations to help house feed and clothe families in their shelter. It does take $75 a day per person in our emergency shelter and our emergency shelter stays full and currently we have over 40 people in our emergency shelter so every little bit helps no matter if it's $5 or $500. Moncas Park is also participating in Giving Tuesday. Park planners hope to get funds to help pay for construction. The park is completely 100% donor funded. Uh, the city bought the property, so it was paid for with, with tax dollars. Um, but everything that's going on with construction is completely private donation. So that's one of the reasons why Giving Tuesday is so important to us. Right now, the first phase of construction is underway with crews building walking paths, a pond and a kayak launch. That work is expected to be finished next summer with the second phase starting shortly after. It's important that we bring these kinds of amenities to our community so that we can be very competitive and making sure people want to live here for generations to come. In Lafayette, Kendria LaFleur, KTC TV. Three. For more information on those groups and of added note, Faith House is one of the beneficiaries of the Home for the Holidays project. You can buy your ticket and learn more at KTC.com.